Hello Internet, I am the Hero of Julios once again with uh, a new video. I don't really know how else to describe this one. Um, so, as you all know, I am a big fan of One Piece and I am a big fan of the Digimon card game. Uh, I've changed my background for this video on my monitors, uh, Digimon and One Piece, because I really don't know exactly how to what, what to put in the background there. I mean, yes, it's a One Piece video, but it is also a card game video because the official Bandai uh, YouTube channel, um, you know, Bandai websites, the guys that make the Digimon card game have announced that there is going to be a One Piece card game. Uh, I am very excited about this, obviously. Uh, my wallet is not, but uh, that's my problem, not yours. <laughs> and I don't know anything about the card game really uh we we know very little about it there's an official website but it doesn't have a lot to say but here are the few things we do know we know there's going to be five starter decks uh one has not have any official artwork about it it's going to be based on the one piece film series so like strong world you got stampede z and uh, gold. That's the last one. So that's that's one of the starter decks. The other starter decks are going to be based on the Seven Warlords of the Sea, the Beast Pirates, the Worst Generation, and obviously the Straw Hat Crew. There's also going to be card sleeves. Uh, 70 sleeves per a pack. Uh, there's only going to be one design. And there are two cards that we know of. There is a Monkey D. Luffy card, which has 4,000 power and, I think, 5 health, by the looks of it. It's a captain card, and it's a member of the Straw Hat crew. Because, you know, Luffy is the captain of the Straw Hat crew. The only other card we've seen is one on the website where I don't really have a clear view of it, but it says plus 1,000. So maybe this boosts Luffy's power, or... Maybe Luffy is just a generic card. Uh, in the Digimon card game, there are some Digimon who have no special abilities. They just have a lot of power. And for all we know, 4,000 is a lot of power in the One Piece card game. Regardless, th those are the only cards we know of. But uh, a few speculations I can make is if all the Straw Hat crew is going to be in one deck then maybe this game is based more around the pirate crew members than it is about, like, option cards or things of that nature. So, in Yu-Gi-Oh!, in Magic the Gathering, you have, you know, magic and spell cards. The Digimon card game has option cards. Perhaps the One Piece card game doesn't. Maybe it's just pirates going at it against marines. As far as deck size goes... The Digimon card game sells their um, card sleeves in packs of 60, but the decks can only have 50 cards in them. So maybe it's a similar scenario. There's 70 sleeves because it's a 60-card deck. That way you have extra sleeves in case one breaks kind of thing. Finally, if this first you know expansion, the first booster pack, is called Romance Dawn, Maybe it's all based on pirates, you know, five starter decks with pirates, the booster pack has pirates, and maybe the next expansion is marines. Maybe the expansion after that is going to be, um, you know, new world pirates. Maybe the expansion after that is going to be based on the revolutionary army. Not a lot to talk about right now, but I wanted to get this out there to let more people know about it. I know I'm I'm a smaller channel, but... I want to be up to date, and as soon as I know what the rules are, I'll probably start explaining them to people alongside the uh, Digimon rule explanation videos I've started doing. Uh, is there a way to exit out of this video? Um, stay tuned. <laughs> Thank you for watching as always, and I will see you in the next video. This is the Hero of Julios, Xing out.